Hey guys, another video for our Myths About Japan playlist. This video has been trending on the front page of YouTube for the last few days and we watched it and then after that tried to ignore it because it was just another one of these bits of nonsense where some random dude just collects some crap about Japan off the internet, puts it together like it's fact, gets lots of views. So I've been trying to ignore it, but it's still there and it's just one of the particularly bad ones, so we want to address it. Hey, 42 here. Japan is probably the most health conscious country in the world. They have the highest life expectancy, the most centenarians per capita, and they eat so much fish. As a country, Japan has gone to extraordinary lengths to maintain its reputation as the world's healthiest place. So, as you guys know, Japanese people have been leading healthy lifestyles for hundreds of years. So, obviously, it has nothing at all to do with maintaining their reputation. It's just that they value being healthy, obviously. For instance, the vast majority of Japanese companies make their employees do mandatory exercise for half an hour every morning before they sit down to work. That's fairly typical of what we see with with these isn't Japan weird videos when they go on to mix a little bit of reality with a whole heap of stuff they just add on. So, you know, he uses words there like the majority of companies and they force them to, they make them to. So it's true that some Japanese companies do have exercise for staff in the morning before they start work. But to say that it's the majority of companies is bullshit and to say that they're forced to or made to is just giving the wrong impression. It's voluntary. People people are doing it because everybody's doing it and they feel comfortable doing it. It makes them feel good before they start their day. Nothing more than that. But with the influx of Western fast food, Japan's healthy outlook is showing signs of crumbling under a mountain of melty plastic cheese. Crumbling under a mountain of melty plastic cheese. Indeed. As we've talked about before, McDonald's in Japan is actually failing because not enough people buy it. The way Japanese people usually approach fast food, junk food, is exactly as that. So they usually eat it only rarely and as a bit of a treat. And the rest of the time, as we've shown on our interview video, we ask Japanese people what they eat, their three meals a day. And as you saw, the young people and the old people, everybody's eating healthy food most of the time. And junk food's just something that people have maybe on the weekend or maybe when they uh, want to treat themselves a little. So that's how it's treated. So obviously a massive exaggeration there. It's a problem. Because so few Japanese are overweight, there's a lot of prejudice towards the not so small minority. It's common for overweight individuals to be bullied in the workplace and even cast out of their family just for packing a few extra pounds. There's one of those manipulative words again. It's common, he said. It's common for people to be bullied in the workplace or even cast out of their family for putting on a few extra pounds. It's possible that in a minority of cases, people might get teased a little bit in the workplace for being overweight, teased in a lighthearted way, most likely. As a person who is overweight in Japan, that isn't an uncommon thing to get tap tapped on the stomach and told, oh, you put on a bit of weight. But it's usually done in a lighthearted way. It could be considered bullying. But the bit about being cast out of your family for putting on a few extra pounds is obviously total bullshit. No idea where he got that from. And then to suggest that that's common is just laughable. Japan went the extra mile and simply made it illegal to be fat. In 2008, Japan's lawmakers passed a law called Metabo Law, which is short for Metabolic Syndrome. You may be watching this thinking, it's happened. Japan has finally lost it. Well, yeah, if you believe what this guy is saying, you could definitely come away with the impression that Japan's totally lost it. He's certainly doing his best to give that impression, isn't he? So yes, there was a law passed in 2008, and that's where a lot of this nonsense has come from. People have been making videos about this topic, talking about Japan, it's illegal to be fat in Japan. They've been talking about that for the last eight years, because what happens is turkeys like this guy take a little bit of information and then they add a whole heap of nonsense to it, and the information out there on the internet gets further and further from the truth. Of course it wasn't called the Matabo Law, that's a nickname that was given to it by English-speaking people like this turkey. Obviously it's got a Japanese name, and what it was designed for was to give guidance to the prefectures and the cities 
to make sure they stay on top of the health situation and make sure everybody stays healthy. So they have health checks once a year for people to see how they're doing with their health and to see if they need any help. And if they are overweight, they offer them help. To, to make it sound like some North Korean thing where everybody's all lined up and forced to do something is all total nonsense. All it means is we get a letter that comes once a year from the city and it says, it's now time for your yearly physical. Uh, please call us and make a time to come and have your health check. And if you choose not to go and have the health check, you never hear about it again. And then 12 months later, you get another letter. It's time for you to come and have your health check. And it's just offering you a free, because it's all covered under the public health system, it's a free health check. So a lot of Japanese people jump at it because it's an opportunity to go and have a full checkup for free. But if you don't want to go, you don't go. And that's the end of it. You never hear any more about it. So then, what is the punishment for eating too many cheeseburgers? Seppuku? He's probably trying to say seppuku. So his little joke is, what's the punishment for being overweight? Is it to kill yourself ritually with a sword? So it's a suicide joke. Suicide reference. Trying to be funny. Pretty tasteless, isn't it? In Japan, it's considered gross and illegal to have a waist over 35 inches as a male. It's considered gross and illegal. Really? Don't think anybody really cares, really. I mean, you know, the way he makes it sound again, he makes it sound as if everybody thinks that it's gross if people are overweight or they have a, a, a waist bigger than 35 inches. Well, most Japanese people don't care. In actual fact, Japanese culture says if you're critical of other people, that's even ruder than anything else. So nobody really cares. It's not illegal. It's just that, that a measurement was mentioned in the guidelines to give a bit of an idea. Like in most countries, there's guidelines to what's healthy and what's not. And 35 inches, well, Japan uses the metric system. So that gives us a bit of a hint of where his information's coming from, doesn't it? Randomly from the net. If during their annual checkup a citizen is found to have a larger waistline than the government imposed limit, they are required by law to attend regular counselling sessions. Because, you know, according to Japan, if you're fat, it must be because you're mentally unstable, of course. There's all those manipulative words again. Government imposed limit. Required by law. So as mentioned previously, those health checks are not mandatory. We don't have to go. If we don't go, nothing happens. If you do go and they do think you're overweight, they'll offer you counselling and nutritional things and all the other good things that first world countries have access to with good health care in the 21st century. To make it sound again like everybody's lined up and forced to do these things is just total bullshit. There's no no basis in fact at all for any of that nonsense. Anybody that's lived in Japan long term and has been part of the healthcare system in Japan knows it's an excellent healthcare system and there's no, no one's forced to do anything. He's full of it. Those crazy Japanese may seem, well, crazy. Yeah, that's the bottom line, isn't it? That's the message he's trying to get across and that's the common thing with these videos. These guys Google a bit of stuff on, on the internet. They put together the bits that sound the most interesting and the most inflammatory and the most crazy. And then they add the sort of narration that this turkey's added to try and make it sound even crazier. And people love it. People love it. The reason he's done it is because he knew it would be a popular video, and it is, almost a million views. And the fact that it's total nonsense doesn't matter. It's just that... It, it provokes people to say, ah, oh, aren't those Japanese crazy? And if you look at the comments underneath the video, he gets tons of comments from people saying exactly that. So his little manipulative plan worked, and it seems that most people aren't smart enough to see that it was all total nonsense. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. So guys, next time you hear some crazy nonsense about Japan that sounds unbelievable, you can probably assume that it's come from somebody like this. Because this is where all these myths come from. All the myths we've got on the myths playlist, this is where they've come from. Characters like this. Distorting the truth to get a few views on YouTube. There it was. More videos. Coming soon.